Hi, Gary. Hi. Um, any fresh injury news after Tottenham and any of the injured players showing any signs of returning to action? Um, so, who, we were missing Ryan Fredericks. He'll still be out. Junior Stanislas will miss out still. Uh, junior Trey Orway won't be, uh, won't be available for the, um, the first game next week, definitely. Um, Matty Vinya's done a couple of light days work after the, the bang on his back at um, Tottenham, so hopeful that he'll be able to be involved in the match day squad. Um, and uh, yeah, apart from that, we're, we're as, as we were, lads are in a good place. You've had a few days to reflect on Tottenham. It was a seismic win. What effect is it going to have, do you think, with seven games left? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it, yeah, it was a big three points for us, of course. they. I mean, they all are throughout the season, but the closer you get to the end, they, they feel bigger. Um, and being away from home at a, at a big club, um, yeah, it was, was obviously a big win for us and, and a big performance as well to go with it. So, yeah, looking forward to getting back home. We've obviously had two away games on the trot um, and it'll be a, yeah, a very tough game against against a, a West Ham side that can be stubborn and, and, and hard to break down. So, um, yeah, we'll need a need a good atmosphere here on um, on Sunday and try and make sure the lads are in a real good place to go and attack the game and um, yeah, make the vitality what it what it can be when it when it gets bouncing. Just sticking with Spurs, you said afterwards that Stellini didn't shake your hand, but after you said that in the interview, did he actually wait for you? And then did you see him afterwards in the end? Yeah, we bumped into each other after the um, after I'd done some of the, the media stuff. So um, yeah, we, we shook hands at that point. It's West Ham then on Sunday, Gary. Um, if you make it three straight wins, how confident would you feel about uh, survival? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm just trying to win the next game. Whether it's three on the trot or not is, yeah, it, it, it doesn't make any difference. We need we, we need more points definitely. 33 is not going to be enough. So, um, yeah, as we were two weeks ago before we'd beat Leicester and Tottenham, just desperate to add another three. So, um, yeah, there's the, the focus hasn't changed. It hasn't switched. We're um, yeah, we understand that we're we're still in a in a scrap to make sure that we're in this division next season. So um, this week's going to be a big one for us, and it, it starts on Sunday, where where three points would give us another another step towards um, us achieving what we set out to. Obviously, they're playing Ghent first. Is it going to help that they're playing Thursday night before Sunday? Because despite their performance last Sunday, they have been struggling to win on Sundays after the Europa Conference games. Yeah, I think it's it's a home game for them. I think um, it's a chance for them to to win a big game in front of their fans. They had a good performance in front of their their own um, their home fans on on Sunday, I think, against Arsenal. So um, no, I, I mean they've got they've got world class players that are used to playing in big games. Um, this will be a big game for them come Sunday. Um, so I'll be very surprised if West Ham turn up here at anything less than one hundred percent full throttle, ready to go. Um, because yeah, it's obviously a very important game for them as well as it is us. So yeah, I, I don't see us having any advantage over that. I think we, our real focus is on arriving on Sunday in the best shape we can possibly be, um, and try and West, ask West Ham as many as many questions as possible. A decade ago, you were playing for West Ham. What are your memories of your your two years there? Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. I suffered a really really bad injury, but that sort of helped me um, as well because I had to f fight back from something and. Yeah, there was a chance that I wouldn't play again after that, and, and managed to play for another eight odd years. Um, so yeah, there was I had some real good times, made some good friends. We got promoted, managed to have a decent um, finish in the Premier League the following season. So um, yeah, fond memories. It's a it's a, it's a great club, um, much bigger club than I realised before I got there. I think um, yeah, once once you sign there and you're there every day, you realise how big a how big a club it is. Um, so yeah, um, I enjoyed my time. And from someone so young in your managerial career, how much do you admire David Moyes, who, despite his a thousand games, is still getting some flack from the West Ham fans who want a, a more progressive style of football? What do you think of David Moyes and the way he's managed West Ham? Yeah, huge respect for for David Moyes. I think to have had a such a successful career over such a long period, um, yeah, is, is extremely impressive. I think um, managed some big clubs, um, done incredibly well with with so many of them um, really impressive the way as, as well when he, when he took over at West Ham they were not doing very well um, and he took them to some some real highs last season um, so yeah I think he's yeah he's obviously had a, a yeah he has a lot of respect from me from from what he's achieved so far West Ham may be suffering a little bit this season from from being in an added competition and um, but yeah I'm yeah, West Ham are, are still a very good side, and David Moyes is still a very good manager, and it will be a tough, tough, um, 
tough game for us on Sunday. Just finally, Gary, if you do pull it off and Bournemouth stay up, I mean, would it be a, a great escape? You're involved in a big one with Pompey way back in 2006. Do you, any comparisons with that team and what Bournemouth are doing now? Um, togetherness, maybe. I think that, that group that I was in at Portsmouth, we were we were a real together group. And um, yeah, may, maybe slightly different because we were, we were cut adrift that season a little bit at Portsmouth. Halfway through, we were a long way behind or maybe slightly later than halfway through. Um, Whereas we've sort of been in the fight always from from the start of the season, we've always been in and around everybody. So um, yeah, slightly different, but this group has definitely has that togetherness and this that drive to to try and achieve something. Um, and yeah, a lot of work still to do over the next six weeks to make sure that we um, that we do achieve which what what we set out to, and it it would be a big achievement. Yeah, thanks. Kerry, just to pick up on Jeremy's last question there, how have you fostered that togetherness in this squad? Um, th yeah, they're a good group already, so it's not like I have to yeah, take a group that is has huge divides and cracks and try and mould it all together. They're a group that was already um, together, already willing to, as you saw last season, um, yeah, to do what we did in the, in the Championship last year. You need to be a group that is all pushing in the same direction. So, um, But yeah, I think we've used this year, we've used some of our... Uh, tough moments as well to make it stronger we've suffered obviously a few late goals and some tough losses and some losses that maybe we didn't deserve and that that you can go two ways with that and this group has taken it as a as a way to grow and improve um and i'm yeah pleased for them that they've managed to to show everyone that they're capable of some real good results over the last few weeks but um yeah nothing achieved yet so need, need to push on and make sure we yeah we we add a few more Jeremy Carragher on TV this week put you in the manager of the year category if you uh, if you pull this off. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not going to say that you should vote for yourself on that one, but have you felt appreciated for the work you've done, maybe from outside of the people in your close area and, and parts of this club? Have you felt appreciated on a, a wider scale? Uh, I don't really feel anything on a wider scale. Um, just, yeah, focused on the players um, and making sure that they're ready always and making sure that... They, they get the credit that they deserve if they if they perform in a certain way and um, yeah yeah I'm not too interested in what people think of me to be honest I think if um, yeah I focus purely on my work and, and my players um, and let, let them do the talking on on a Saturday happy to be judged always on on what we produce um, and hopefully come the end of the season we can um, we can achieve what I what I, I expected us to and what what I set out with this group on I don't know when it was, maybe September, um, which was a, a goal to stay in the league. Um, a lot of people would have thought it was un an unrealistic goal, but I always thought that we that we would give it a real good go. Um, so yeah, it would be it would be a proud moment if we do manage to get over the line. But but not for me, as I say, for the group and the club and what it would mean to everybody to, to have another crack at the Premier League next season. You've got this big week coming up with, with West Ham, Southampton and Leeds, three teams in the bottom six. Are you putting it together and saying to the players, right, by four o'clock next Sunday, let's make sure we're safe? Uh, no, no, I'm, um, yeah, just West Ham. Let's let's get out of um, the Vitality Stadium at, on Sunday, 4.30, whatever time we get done. And let's make sure we've got more points than we've got now. Um, preferably three and, um, yeah, see where we are after that one. Wanted to ask as well what you think that goal and that moment and what it meant will have done for Dongo Watara. Um, obviously, he's you know he's picked up most of the headlines of the, the last uh, the last week or so, but we know of his ups and downs since since coming here. What have you seen this week and what do you think that will do for him? Yeah, it gave him a lift definitely. He's had obviously quite a few goal involvements, assists, and um, yeah, been involved in some of our um, more dangerous attacks. So he's had some good moments, but that one was obviously a, a big one. Um, so yeah, pleased for him because he'd obviously started a lot of football matches and then came out for, um, came off against Leicester and then came out of the starting eleven for the first time. So to have that that impact off the bench and especially the nature of the goal, because it was a big moment, showed real composure, uh, nice finish. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it's it's given him a lift. And um, I mean, he was already in a good place, but yeah, I'm sure it's mm. given him a lift. Last one, just coming back to the appreciation theme, Dom Solanke's now got five goals and, and six assists, um, which is better numbers than quite a lot of top players in the top half of the, the table. Had his performances flown under the radar again and a wider a wider um, perspective because maybe he'd had that little spell without a goal? Yeah, maybe. I think unless you watch Dom uh, regularly and closely, some of the stuff that he does can go yeah, without being noticed. I think he... Um, I, I expect more of him. 
of it, of course, because of how good he is. So um, I, I expect him to score goals and I expect him to inv be involved in the goals we score, um, as well as the incredible work that he does for the team in, in and out of possession. Um, but yeah, pleased for him because he's, yeah, the last few weeks, he's suffered with a few niggly injuries this year that has meant he hasn't maybe trained as much as as he and I would have liked him to. Um, whereas the last few weeks, he's had a real clear run. He's training every day. He's looking sharper. Um, and no coincidence that when he gets his big moment now, there, he's managing to, to, yeah, to make sure that we capitalise from them slightly more often than we were before. So, um, yeah, Dom's in a good place. And, yeah, I've been asked a few times about whether we're considering leaving him out and the answer was always no because, um, yeah, he's a very big player for us.